what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is shark day and i do videos on self-care lifestyle beauty a little bit of everything that us women do and if those things interest you then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell that will notify you when i post new videos and that way you can keep up with all of the things that I have to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today I wanted to talk about skincare and I want to do a disclaimer about how I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. I am not a skincare professional. These are only products that I have been using personally and these are products that have worked for my skin. So with that being said, I also want to disclaim that none of these products are medical grade products. With products that you see in Sephora, Ulta, Walmart, whatever the case may be, those are not medical grade products. These are just products that companies sell to us. Um, if you want medical grade products, you're going to have to go to a dermatologist, an esthetician, spas, and things like that if um, you have deeper skin concerns. So let's get into some of the little topics that I want to talk about before we get into these products. So for starters, I have dry skin. And so a lot of the products that I use are moisturizing and therefore um, to combat dryness, flakiness, things like that. Those are the products that work the best for me. So the first step that you want to do when you're looking for skincare products is to recognize what kind of skin type do you have? Do you have oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Do you have problematic acne prone skin? Do you have normal skin? Th these things are important when you're looking for the perfect skincare routine for yourself. I also wanted to get into Things that you could be doing that could also be aiding in skin problems and skin concerns that we really don't think about. So one being washing your sheets weekly. You lay your head on your pillow for eight hours a day and it is important to have a clean pillow and a clean pillow case. That is one thing that a lot of people miss. Another thing that I want to talk about is water and diet. So it is very important to drink water, not only for the rest of your organs in your body, but also for your skin. Your skin is one of the organs that receives moisture last since your important organs need their nourishment first. So it is very important to be very hydrated for your skin to receive that moisture. And also diet, your gut health, your gut health, the bacteria that is in your gut, um, the foods that you're putting inside your body, they do come out. So it is important to have a diet rich in nutrients and also a diet that works best for you and that your body likes. So those are just some of the little things and tips and tricks that a lot of people seem to miss. I know that we always look for some kind of miracle product and a product that's going to just solve all of our problems but it really does come from the inside out and it really is important to not neglect what we really should be doing for a healthy body and healthy skin overall so i know that i talked about knowing your skin type us women around that time of the month we may have some hormonal breakouts as well. So it, it is important to have products to aid in your skin changing at that time of the month and pay attention to your environment. When the weather is changing, you may have to switch up your products to accommodate what your skin is living in in that moment. Another thing that a lot of people seem to miss are hair products. I know I use edge control. I use hair products. I use things you know, for my hair, obviously, and we don't realize that these products are dripping on our face. So a lot of the times where you may be experiencing a lot of tiny bumps on the side, or you just have a lot of side acne, a lot of times that's because you really do need to wash the perimeter of your hair every day when you wash your face. That is one of the things that I had to change because I didn't realize why I was getting these little bumps on the side and that was one of the reasons why I was breaking out. For just small little 
tips that we seem to kind of miss sometimes on our skincare health and our appearance. So that was just a little quick overview of what I have been doing to keep my skin clear and healthy and feeling fresh. One thing I hate about when I'm about to get a breakout or if I feel like my face is dirty, it, it will itch in a spot or it will, you know, that's another thing, do not touch your face. Whether you have a pimple, do not pop your pimples, please. I've had this pimple for I don't even know how long. I've been letting it go away slowly and I've been letting it go away slowly because it will scar less. That's one thing that us women struggle with sometimes are scars. So it is a lot easier to prevent a scar than to try to lighten that area and try to remove a scar once it has already formed on your face. So that is one thing that you may just have to just deal with at the moment when you have a pimple. Either use a um, drying agent um, or just let it be, moisturize your face as much as you can appropriately and let your skin do its thing. Our skin regenerates every 27, 28 days. So a lot of times when you use products that may penetra penetrate deeply into your skin, it will take a while to really see if that product is working. So one thing that I do not recommend is changing your whole skincare routine all at once. That is one of the mistakes that I did and my skin was suffering. I was breaking out. I didn't know what product was breaking me out. That's the thing. You want to incorporate products into your skincare routine slowly. So if you want to change up your face wash, okay, change up your face wash, but keep everything else the same. That way you can tell, oh, okay, this face wash is breaking me out. Let me not use it anymore. And vice versa with every other product that you may be going through it. Okay, so I want to go over the dry, normal, and oily skin types really, really fast. So with normal skin a lot of times you're not your skin isn't overcompensating with oils and it's not very dried out but it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't need products like sunscreen it doesn't necessarily mean that you couldn't benefit from a face oil it doesn't mean that you can't benefit from something that's very moisturizing i think a lot of times people think because i don't have sensitive skin that they can just use really rough products on their face all skin types should be treated like they are sensitive and all skin types should be treated with care you shouldn't be over exfoliating your skin you shouldn't be using a lot of acids on your skin and when i say acids i mean like salicylic acid salicylic acid is used in a lot of acne products and a big mistake that a lot of acne prone people do is they use acne products in every single step that they do their skincare routine in. So they're using it for their face wash, it's in their toner, they're using alcohol based toner, they're using a rough exfoliating, physical exfoliant, and then they're also using an acne moisturizer. That is like way too much to do. You need to really hone in on if you're going to use strong products like salicylic acid then you need a really good moisturizer their skin is all about balance your skin will do its best and it will treat you the best when it is balanced so that is just a quick little overview we are not using walnut scrubs anymore we're not using any of those scrubs anymore anything that is rough that you you know like a sugar scrub or anything that we use on our body we are not using that on our face it has been proven that it causes small tears in your skin, which then in turn can cause wrinkles and fine lines down the line. If you want a physical exfoliant, please stick to like rice powders. I know that Dermalogica has a microfoliant, I think it's called, and it's a really nice rice powder and it will last you forever. I had a microfoliant powder and it lasted me for about a year or a little bit more i think i threw it out because i kept it in the shower and it did eventually hard at the bottom but that is a really nice exfoliant i tend to not use a lot of physical exfoliants i don't know why my my skin just does not react well to it my skin reacts well to moisture and lotions and all of those things so that is just a little quick overview of common mistakes that we may use as we go through our skincare journey and trying to find the best products for our skin and just getting our routine together it is such a long process and sometimes it can be really discouraging because you really do have to try these products to see if they work best for you and 
I have been through it. I love skincare. I love trying products, but at some point, I have to reel it back in and use the products that work for me and best for me. That way I'm not making my skin go through it and then I'm wanting to try something else to combat what I've already, you know, caused a reaction. It's just like a downward spiral when you're trying a whole bunch of skincare products. So like I said, remember, if you want to try something new, try that one thing new for a while, at least 20 something days so you can really see what is going on. And also, if you want to use a chemical exfoliant, remember that your skin takes that long to, you know, show regeneration. And with chemical exfoliants and retinols and things like that, what it does is it rejuvenates your skin cells a lot faster. So you may be going through a purge. A pimple starts deep down in the skin. So when you try a product that um, has retinol in it or some kind of um, exfoliating acids like AHA, um, you really need to slow it down and really determine whether or not your skin is purging and that's why that time frame is so important whether it's purging or you're having a bad reaction and again start slow don't go putting these chemicals on your face every single day start with one time a week then move up to two times a week then move up to three times a week you don't need to be putting a, an exfoliant on your skin every single day so that is just a quick little Info Crash Course 101 that I've learned that I have taken in with my skincare. Keep it simple, keep the basics, keep what works for you, and try a little bit at a time. So let's get into my favorite products. So my cleanser. I have been loving this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. I have tried so many cleansers. I've tried every popular cleanser that you can think of. I, I've tried Kate Somerville. I've tried everything at Sephora and Ulta pretty much over the years. And there's still a few that I really like. I really like the Philosophy Cleanser. It's very simple, it's very gentle. I like simple cleansers. So I love this one because it's an ultra facial. Like that just sounds like, wow, I, I need a facial every single day. But it's a gentle liquid formula. I love that it's like a gel, but it's still creamy at the same time. It's not over, it says it's not over drying and it does not strip the skin. So. This mild cleanser is specifically formulated with a sugar-derived glycoside foaming agent to thoroughly cleanse skin and remove makeup without over-drying or stripping skin of its natural oils. That's very important. With effective emollients, squalene, that's a really good um, ingredient to have in products, apricot kernel oil, vitamin E, and avocado oil, our gentle formula dissolves excess oil, dirt, and debris. It's pH balanced to maintain skin's natural balance and tested for safety and gentleness so ph balance is really important now all all face washes are not ph balanced so that's when the toners come in but i personally don't use a lot of toner and i think it's because that my face wash is ph balanced anytime i try to use or incorporate a toner with this face wash i don't really have a good experience where I don't really see a lot of change. So sometimes I want a really simple skincare routine because consistency is key for nice skin. So if you feel like 20 products every night is not going to do it for you and you don't have the time to do all of that, then get products that are good for a simple quick routine that, that you don't even have to think about and you've done it and you're consistent and you can see the results from it. So I really love this one. This is probably about my 10th or 15th bottle and I've been using this for years now this lasts me a very long time and I love the price point I've tried cheaper face washes and I've tried the $40 face washes with face washes you're using quite a bit of it so I like that middle price range for a face wash and this is 20 bucks for a really big one it lasts me about four or five months so I highly 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 recommend this Kiehl's ultra facial cleanser okay Next, we are going to talk about my moisturizer. Now, my moisturizer, this right here, is my tried and true. I don't think I could ever live without this moisturizer. I can try, I can incorporate other stuff, and I'm sure other stuff works just as well or whatever, but this Clinique 
Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. I have been using it since I was a sophomore in high school. And I have never had a really bad breakout ever since my sophomore year of high school. I love this moisturizer. If I don't have anything else, I need this moisturizer. This moisturizer doesn't do anything dramatically different, I don't think, but it keeps my face plump. It keeps it moisturized. I, I look youthful. I can go without makeup. I look like I take care of my skin all because I do two, I do two pumps of this morning and night. And I love this moisturizer. I never feel like my skin is tight. I never feel like my skin is greasy, oily, and they have this in a gel form. Um, my boyfriend is using that one for a while, but guess what? His skin just started to really prosper when he started using mine, even though, you know, when people start using your product, you like, but it, it works. It works. And I will recommend this one to the day that I die. So Clinique Moisturizer. This one is the very dry to dry skin and you can get the normal and you can get the oily and all that stuff. But this one is my absolute favorite. I will forever have it in my pantry. In my, what's it called in the bathroom? Your beauty. What is it called? I don't even know, girl. Get this. Okay. So, now we're going to go into the ad, the added little stuff that isn't necessarily detrimental to my skincare routine, but it definitely has improved it. These two, honestly, I could wash my face, moisturize, and be good. But when I want to do a little something extra, if I notice that my skin needs a little bit of extra care, the weather is changing, it has been changing, it's getting colder, these products I have been loving. So to start, I want to start with this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This really surprised me. And it surprised me because of the price point, the quality of the product, and the way that it feels. So what it is, it's kind of like a gel consistency. I believe this is a Japanese brand. And they're very big on like spa-like products, very big on, um, no, I think Korean. They're very big on um, like 20-step skincare routine. Like that's how you get that glass skin. But this product, this is literally all you need and you need to dap, dap, dap. And it rubs in so beautifully and it feels kind of like water. But what it does, what it does is... It add, it's a sleeping mask, so it adds moisture. And then it even says one of the benefits is purifying and moisture. So I really like that purifying aspect to it. So while you're sleeping, this is helping to keep your skin nice and clean and add that added moisture. And you really do look more youthful in the morning. So I really love this. I know some people even use it as an eye mask, but this one is really good. And it's at Sephora, but it's only about 20 bucks, I think. And if you know anything about skincare, you know that that is a really great price point. So I really recommend that. Okay, so next, let's get into some treatments. So I have been loving this Sleeping Night Oil by Sun Sunday Riley. Now, when you're looking into retinols, serums different kind of oils that's when the price point is going to get a little bit more expensive um and that's with any price range any store that you get it from that's when it starts to kind of increase because this is the stuff that companies put a lot of money and research into because this is what really is going to penetrate your skin so i love this because this well, you will really see a difference overnight. I kid you not. So it's actually blue and this is a, um, a retinal oil. And what retinal is, it's used for anti-aging and it helps cell regeneration. So that skin purging that I was talking about when you just, you don't know where your breakouts are coming from. One minute you clear the breakout and then here comes another one. It's really good to get a product like this to where you can just bring all the breakouts out at once and then you can treat them on the surface. A lot of products are only surface based products. So you're treating the pimples as they come. You're treating the pimples as they're coming, but you're not treating deep down into the skin. So what I've really been loving about this is that it gives me a beautiful glow. 
morning. It doesn't matter if I put it on in the morning. You shouldn't put it on in the morning because of sun sensitivity. But when I put it on at night, I wake up with a beautiful glow. And that is another thing about the sun. When you're getting into chemical exfoliants such as AHA, such as retinol, such as um, retinoids, you really want to be careful about the sun because you are exposing your skin to more harmful rays because you're really shaving away those top protective layers to let the products penetrate a little bit deeper. So it's very important to wear sunscreen if you do have to wear or use one of the products in the daytime. So about this product, I'm sorry, I keep I keep going off on a tangent, but this stuff is really important to know. But this Luna works throughout the night to deliver visibly more youthful looking, luminous, even toned skin in the morning. Trans -retin retinoic acid ester complex, complex reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while visibly improving the signs of premature aging, fine lines, uneven texture, age spots, dryness, and dullness. Balanced with blue tansy and German chamomile essential oils, both rich and soothing, blue azulene, visible redness, and the signs of sensitivity are neutralized for a calm, even tone complex. Clinically proven to improve fine lines, radiance, and skin smoothness in four weeks. So they add that blue tansy in this specific product because retinol makes your skin a little bit sensitive. So when you start to use the anti-aging products, it's really important to take it slow because these products really take your skin to build a resistance to so they can keep working. I think I... This makes it better for sensitive skin, but still, when I first, that first day I woke up and my skin was looking, I'm like, oh, I need this product because I started with a sample, mind you. I was like, I need this product and it was expensive. So I'm like, dang, this product is amazing. So then when I got it, I was using it like every day because I'm like, this product is like a miracle product. But then I started to break out just a little bit on the sides of my face only because I didn't take it slow. This is still a retinol. Like you just can't just use it every day just off a of bat and I was using it in the daytime and was out in the sun and yeah no I did my research don't do that use it at night and use it slowly maybe one time a week or twice a week and your skin will look absolutely gorgeous okay so I bought that with a set and this is the high dose retinoid serum by Sunday Riley this is a plus this is even stronger than that one and I'm still working on that bottle so I'm I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about this once my skin builds up that strong resistance to retinols and retinoids I will let you guys know how this works but I'm glad I have it in my little arsenal okay so we are coming to an end to this skincare routine again I like to keep it simple I like to keep it minimal I like to stay consistent and I like products that work so I want to talk about this the ordinary caffeine solution so this is kind of new to my routine and i got this because a lot of people were saying for under eye puffiness and under eye um, darkness they were saying that this works really well for it because it has that caffeine in it to brighten it but i do want to say that if you're not getting drinking enough water you're not getting enough sleep you're not doing the things that you need to be doing you're going to look tired and you're going to add to the darkness under your eyes so make sure you do that first and then incorporate and enhance yourself with these products so um, I will let you guys know but I feel like my under eyes aren't as dark as they once were I'm not sure if it was this or if it's just the products I've been using but I think consistency really does help now if you want to really get rid of the big wrinkles under your eyes that may take Botox I'm just gonna be honest with you guys um, I've done a lot of research and tried to look at products that would take that away and pretty much everybody says Botox is a pretty much only thing that can take away the lines under your eyes but fine lines you can work on that with creams and little stuff like this so, lastly I want to talk about this Mario Badescu spray and this is the only product that I have that has a little bit of fragrance in it, which is like a no-no in skincare. Sorry, but this product I love. I spray on after 
every single skincare I do, I spray on in the middle of the day, I spray on in the mornings when I get up, I spray this product on, and I really do think that it adds that luminous glow to my skin, and I love the calming products of it. So this one is my favorite. This has, they have the rose one, they have the orange one, they have the, the green aloe one, but the lavender one is the best one in my opinion because it's very calming. It has aloe, chamomile, and lavender. It replenishes the skin with an infusion of calming botanicals and lavender essential water. The facial mist delivers a soothing boost of hydration and antioxidant vitamin C combats skin aging free radicals living, leaving the skin balanced and bright. I love this. Uh, everybody pretty much knows about this. It's affordable. It's amazing. It really does add to your skincare and gives you that luminous glow to where you feel comfortable without wearing makeup, without, you know, just being a little cutie with, you know, no makeup. Like that's, that's the vibe that I want on a day to day basis. And I really do love this product. So I know a lot of people can probably make this and I know a lot of people do home care, um, skincare products and that's great that's fine but I really want you guys to pay attention to using products and oils that are non-comogenic I want to say basically oils that do not clog the pores versus oils that do clog the pores and I want to say if you're making homemade products you need to pay attention to the expiration date of these products how you're storing these products are you storing them in a dark spot are you storing them in light are you storing them in a warm cool place you need to pay attention to this because bacteria can build up in these products um in any of these products but especially homemade products because they don't have shelf life and i want you guys to really pay attention to the things that you're doing with your skin love your skin treat your skin like it is sensitive moisturize it when it's going crazy and continue to love yourself no matter what and I hope to see you guys in my next video.